Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hot Rod Dad channel. Glad you came, hope you stay, like, subscribe, comment, share, etc., etc. I'm sorry to have left y'all hanging for the past couple of weeks. I've not uploaded a video in a little while, but I had taken some time off to be with the family during the holiday, and uh, actually we were uh, out of the country on vacation, so I've just gotten back in the shop working on updates on the BLT as well as the Simplex rat bike. In fact, I'm starting this video with a little short clip of the Simplex bike where I had uh, loaded it up and taken it to the local cruise in. So this video is all about um, warmer weather and cool hot rods at the local cruise in. It's all footage that I've not had an opportunity to upload yet because I was focused on some of the bigger car shows and it's mostly me just wishing for warmer weather so I could get out and cruise around. So y'all check it out and be sure to uh, be on the lookout for updates on the BLT. So y'all stay tuned, thanks. Well, there it is on two wheels for the first time. I have to say, I'm digging this thing. It is super funky. It's uh, good to see it uh, there. Uh, standing there on its own two wheels uh kind of getting an idea of uh how all my ideas are gelling together right here so i think i'm going to um, get it loaded up on oscar and we'll take it to the show see if we can uh, get some folks reaction to it there so i'm just pulling into crossville got the simplex loaded up in bag right there and we'll see if we can find some cool rides talk to a few people <laughs> Oh, just got here to Crossville and got a good uh, premium spot here for Oscar. And there's the bike loaded on the back. And just as soon as I pulled up, I've been inundated with people wanting to talk about the bike. So this is the first chance I've gotten to do any filming. We're going to walk around here and see what we can see. One of my favorite things here today, this old Dodge Stepside. It's got a 440 engine in it, lowered nicely. Got some big inch rims on it, but I like that they've kept the original style hubcaps. Great color. This, this truck is for sale. Oh, it's beautiful. Bedwood in it. Well, right there is the phone number if anybody's interested 25k looks like 440 engine 484 cam aluminum intake 670 carb auto 390 sure grip rebuilt crown vic front end steering column looks like it's got all the good good on it Shiny, shiny little black Nova right here. Looks like it's sporting Phytech fuel injection. Check out this C20 right here. Pretty stock looking on the body, but something else is going on here with this thing. This, this your truck? Yeah, I had it over 30 years. Come up here and tell us about it. Oh, what what it year? 67, 68. It's a it's a 68, and it's the CTS cab. It's an air conditioned automatic cab. So what chassis is it on? Uh, it's on a 89 Suburban. So how'd that work out? 
Well, we started with the bed. The bed is sitting right on the frame. It couldn't go no lower. Uh -huh. And we centered up the wheel well. And then we went forward and centered the front and had a lift picking the cab up and down till uh -huh. we got it level and got it centered. And we had to space the gap at the cab. We had to open it up a little bit. If, uh -huh. if you notice, we're just a little bit wider right here. Yeah. But I thought what I might do one day is cut this. Yeah. That's, that's a whole a, lot of work. Put a band <laughs> and slide yeah. this forward. Well, but, most people would never notice that, you and know. And it had side tanks, the truck did at one time, and, and uh, I took them out, but I added another hoe. I don't know why I drilled another hoe, but I'm using the Suburban gas tank. Uh, I see, yeah. Is this the original paint on the truck? This here's the original paint. Wow. I fixed the roof because it had some, that, you know how it'll caught rusties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaned it up and I did the roof and I put satin. Uh-huh, gotcha, yeah. Clear. If I ever paint the truck, I'm gonna do satin. Really good original truck though. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix the mirror hose and I'm gonna blend the color uh -huh. and fix that hose. I'm gonna just fade this in and then I'm gonna put satin clear over the whole side. Yeah, yeah. Great looking truck. So is this the original uh, engine from the... From the 68. From the, okay. Gotcha. And I went with the Suburban brakes. Great looking truck. Here is a little ratty rat. Looks like maybe, I don't know, mid 30s Chevrolet cab. Mercedes Benz grill on it. <laughs> Looks like rather than cowl induction, he's got cow induction. <laughs> this is the most unique steering wheel I've ever seen on a rat rod. Pretty simple in concept. It's just made out of washers, marbles, and a little round stock. Over here we've got a tribute car, looks like of John Milner's 32 Ford five window coupe from the movie American Graffiti. It's got that iconic chopped 32 Ford grill shell in the front. They even painted the frame black like the one in the movie. Typically, they, those uh, frames are painted the same color as the car. The movie car had a very rare Mana Frey intake. This one looks like it's got Maybe a winged 327 looks like bobbed fenders, just like in the movie. The only thing about it, I don't think the original car had the pinstriping on it. Of course, if you followed the natural progression of John Milner, you would think that later on he might have put some uh, tasteful pinstriping on it. Looks like a 1941, I believe, Ford Roadster, or convertible, excuse me. Of course, there's the historic Palace Theater. If you ever make your way to this cruise in, we've got some great places to eat right here, right here on Main Street. Christie's Pub Grub, CPG2, and Brocco's Pizza and Brew right here on Main Street. Take care of your uh, hunger while you're uh, looking at cars. This is a really radical uh, 33, 34 Ford Coupe completely tubular chassis on this thing. Indy style front suspension. That grill is really laid back on this car. Got some big old disc brakes on it. I imagine it's got disc brakes on all four corners. 
small block Chevy powered. One of the really unique features about this car, it looks like you can take that whole top off of this and run it as a Roadster. Right here, you can see the seam right here on the top. So I believe that that whole top can be lifted off. Really radical little car. Got a Mercury Comet right here. Looks like it's been pretty heavily customized. Another little more modern 32 Ford. Kind of reminiscent of the American Graffiti Coupe. As you can see right here, this one has four bar suspension on it instead of hairpins. And it's got a painted frame, color matched to the body. Small block Chevy powered. Really nice little car. Another little Volkswagen right here. Let's mosey over here and see what we got for sale. Looks like a Model T Coupe. $8,000 looks like a great start on a project. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. I, I watch all your videos. Thank you, I appreciate that. That is a really good solid start on a Model T. Right here is the info if anybody's interested. Sorry. Really digging this little 1958 Corvette. They showed up on the golf cart. It was in the morning. To me, this was kind of the height of the Corvette design, for me anyway. Love the early ones. One of my favorite things about these cars is this molded in tail light and the bumper exit on the exhaust. We've got right over here the Cross for War Memorial. We've got the Korean War represented. Got the Civil War represented, World War I, World War II, all right here in front of the courthouse. Beautiful car. Here's a little 68, I believe this is. This would be a 67 or 68 Chevy C10. This truck has been around here for years. Ingram Motors, Crossville, Tennessee.
one of my favorite things about this truck is the bed floor in it. It looks like a old Stucky sign. And any proper southern boy knows Stuckies. Under the hood, I believe that is a Cadillac engine, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful little 46 Chevy pickup over here. I have always had a soft spot for these. I actually used to own one of these. This was the uh, kind of the last of the Art Deco era of trucks. And then they changed to the quote, advanced design trucks post-World War II. Pretty stock appearing on the outside. It even has the bias ply tire. Let's take a peek under the hood. Looks like the old original six cylinder. And it probably a 216. Everything here this month, including a taxi cab. This is a checker cab, retired, but it looks like it has the original paint on it. <laughs> Rates, no hurry, one dollar per mile, fast, two dollars per mile, faster, three dollars per mile. Sit down and shut up, hold on, $10 per mile. <laughs> I think I'd spend the 10 bucks. Right here is one of my favorite cars from this air area. This is a 1953 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. the wide white walls i love that just a little bit of red showing on the wheel right there this car is totally 100 percent original it even has the original paint on it and you can see in certain areas it's getting just a little thin right there all the original paint all the original chrome including these two huge Dagmars on the front. And if you're familiar with Cadillac history, you know how, how those uh, got their name, Dagmars. They were uh, nicknamed Dagmars after a big bosom actress of the era. For obvious reasons. I am loving this little 32 Ford two-door sedan. Kind of got a pewter finish on this. A satin, uh, satiny pewter. Got cowl steering on it. 40 Ford style steering wheel with quick release on it. I think those are Mustang bucket seats. And the lid on this thing has been hammered pretty hard. Small block Ford powered. And I do believe those are 36 Ford headlights on it. Split wishbones. Gorgeous car. I just love this car. 
Mixy, Mickey Thompson uh, racing slicks on the back on rocket wheels. Those look like um, magnesium wheels, but I'm sure they're just uh, probably painted to look that way. Another neat little detail is those finned uh, brake lights on it. It matches the finned cover on the quick change. Awesome car. Absolutely my favorite car here today, I believe. This 1961 Buick convertible. This thing is gorgeous. Man, I'd love to cruise around in this thing. It's got the period correct lake style pipes on it, the Krager SS's, and the little narrow white, white walls on it. Absolutely perfect, and I love that color. Beautiful little Mustang Mach 1 here, gorgeous color. And this has the 351 Cleveland with a shaker hood on it and scoop. I always loved those shaker hoods. Nice bucket seat interior, factory louvers on it, and spoiler. Now, if you don't behave yourself while you're here at the cruise in here in Crossville, old Barney, he might just find you and arrest you. <laughs> ah, what a neat car. Neat little tidbit about uh, the Andy Griffith show and uh, the car that they used in the filming. Uh, all of the bumpers and the chrome you can see on the hubcaps on this one, were all painted kind of a pewter color uh, that was because the the chrome messed with their cameras the uh, they were too bright and it uh, kind of messed with the cameras in the old black and white and uh, so they had to paint all the uh, brights bright work on the cars so it wouldn't uh, interfere with their filming beautiful star liner right here Love your car. Thank you, sir. Man, check out this Cadillac Eldorado. These things were total land yachts. 8.2 liters stuffed in these things. If I'm not mistaken, that would be a 502. Like I said, I may be mistaken, but uh, some of y'all do the math and let me know. Over here on the side street, there's a, uh, several cars parked over here. <laughs> I like the license plate on this GMC. Over here we got three more cars. Here's a C10, really nice little truck right here. This would be a 67 or 68. Probably a 68 as it's got the side marker lights on it. 67s, I don't think uh, those came on the 67s. Nice little Plymouth two-door sedan. I love the suicide doors on these cars. Beautifully detailed small block Chevy engine in it. And over here, we've got a 57 Chevy. All very nice rides. And back here on the back street behind the courthouse, you can see some of the historic buildings right here and we've got parked right in front of those a Studebaker Avanti this was Studebaker's sports car 
and it was uh, introduced to compete with the likes of the Mustang and the Corvette. Somewhat rare nowadays. The Studebaker line or Studebaker car company uh, went out of business in 1966. The uh, Avanti line was moved then to Canada and it continued on for a few more years in Canada. Beautiful little car. If you happen to find yourself in Crossville for the cruise in or any other time, here is one of the restaurants that is on the town square. Uh, this is uh, kind of beside the courthouse, Fortes. They have some fabulous food in that little restaurant. Beautiful street rod right here. Kind of an electric blue metallic. I guess that's green, so it ought to be sticking out like a sore thumb so everybody can make him let him know. This is a fiberglass body, if I'm not mistaken, made by Downs Manufacturing. I think it's the manufacturer of these bodies. I may be mistaken. Looks like it's got billet specialties wheels on it. Very custom. David Hall Jr. 55 Chevy turquoise and white. You'll be sitting there. Another neat little tidbit about Crossville, Tennessee. This little mural has been painted on that wall for as long as I can remember. It's been there for many, many years. The old traffic cop right there saying, park your car here. Y'all, I seen the most beautiful custom rolling in here a few minutes ago. And that's custom with a K. That's this little black Chevy car right here. This your car, sir? Yes, that's my car. What is your name? My name is Frank. Frank? Yes. Good nice. to meet you, Frank. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell us about this car. Uh, it's a 48 Chevy with a top shop. Uh -huh. 383 stroke in it. Air ride system. And yeah, I came from Germany original, but I stay in Clark Ranch at the moment. You're a long way from home. Yeah, it's a long way, but he made it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beautiful car, yeah. sir. I'm going to take a look inside here. You mind if we open the door here? Yes. Yeah, Looks like an Impala steering wheel, maybe? Yep. Beautiful pinstriping right here on the door. Really love that red interior. And you just got this car? Yeah, just a few months ago. And I'm working on that. Oh, I knew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Gorgeous, sir. Congratulations yeah, on your purchase. Thank you so much. is some eye-popping yellow pony interior in this car wood grain steering wheel straight shift hey, we got a more door here. Who's style a steel wheels on it got a racing fuel cell looks like it's back there in the back really cool little car from Advance Auto, and that goes to Dean the Pew. Dean the Pew, 1935 Black Ford. Dean the Pew, come on down and get that. And we have from oh, this is this was a donated from one of our Crossville Club uh, Cruiser Club members. Thank you. Um, oh boy, I know this guy. I don't I don't know whether we got to give it to him or not. In the Shields, 1954 Chevy 31.
absolutely love this. This is a 1945 <laughs> Harley Davidson military bike. How cool is that? And the owner has brought a poster here. Tells all about the history of it. He's got some car show plaques here, dash plaques. Looks like he's on this for a pretty good while. Looks like a good old survivor. And he rides it. Awesome bike. Hey y'all, thanks for coming along and checking out all the cool rides at this little local venue. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And until next time, y'all get out there and build something.